We have team coverage of how the coronavirus is changing people's lives in Tampa Bay. So many of us, in fact, are using Zoom to talk with co-workers and teachers and even to bring you the news. But as ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us, there's also a new inappropriate trend crashing those video calls. Working from home and interacting over video conference is the new normal for a lot of us. But for Claudia Reyes' son, learning with his fellow fourth graders in a conference classroom didn't go as planned. He was logged in, I was doing the dishes, then I started hearing like bad words. So I'm like, what's going on? Are you on the class or you're on something else? And he's like, no, I'm on the class. Concerned about what she was hearing, she ran over to the laptop, and that's when she says she saw a pornographic video playing on the screen. I put my hand on the, on the side of the screen so he wouldn't see anything but I could see the other kids' faces. Um, they were like shocked. Similar to photo bombing, this new trend is called Zoom bombing. A stranger gets onto the conference call and derails it, but it can be hard to figure out who that person is and how to shut it down. At first, I didn't know what to do. Was My first reaction was to cover the screen, but then I closed the laptop, but I could still hear them. Zoom says it went from 10 million users last year to nearly 200 million by last month as the pandemic pushed more people online. And while they were focused on the influx, the company says it, quote, fell short on privacy and security expectations. I mean, the kids are already going through a lot, like having to do this from home and then this on top of that. <laughs> It's crazy. Zoom now says there are several ways you can protect your meetings. Never publicly share the personal meeting ID. Only allow signed in users to join via an email invite and lock the meeting down completely to outsiders once everyone is in. There are several other ways you can keep your meetings safe. Head to abcactionnews.com for more tips. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.